<laughs> series so fast so fast cool uh we did yeah like i said we did get a video of uh of the kids seeing the puppy for the first time and everything but uh it's not not ready not ready a little bit later Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Also, I feel like I need to, uh, <laughs> I feel like I need to publicly mention this <laughs> because I have inadvertently caused some confusion. So a lot of you guys have been following this along like I have, and I feel a lot of you had a similar reaction to what was said this morning. However, um, I sometimes forget that the people on Twitter, in fact, I would argue the majority of Twitter, do not watch my stream. So they might not know, you know, exactly what I do. So when Piranha Bytes posts a message saying that they're in a difficult situation, and I respond with, that's fantastic news! Understandably, some people could probably be a bit confused by that reaction. Um, and I didn't think about that at the time. And I've already received a few PMs and replies being like, you are a complete asshole. Um, how do you come off being that much of a dick? And um, I was like, oh yeah, you know, that's, that's fair. That's fair. So anyway, let me just clarify this a bit. I love Piranha Bytes. I love them. Played all their games. I think they're fantastic. A week ago, we were told that their company was gutted, their president left, and their homepage turned from an actual website to a static image and some copyright information. So me, as well as thousands of fans, were under the assumption that any minute we were going to get a big public thing saying Piranha Bytes had closed down. We were expecting the studio to be dismantled. So when they made a post saying they're in a difficult situation, but don't write us off. We're doing everything we can to keep going. We're convinced we can succeed. Now we're focused with a goal. To me, that's great news. Yay, awesome. But I definitely should have clarified that when responding. So anyway, I just wanted to make it super clear. Um, yeah, me going, this is fantastic news was in reference to them not being closed. Anyway, <clears throat> just so that's said, <laughs> just, just so that's said, uh, that was, that was pretty dumb. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. We're back in Baldur's Gate 3 and I'm super, I'm super pleased to do it. C communication skill minus 12. That's accurate. That's accurate. Yeah. Mm. Okay. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> was that the was that the joke of the day? No, it wasn't. This is. What game do monsters like to play? Hide and shriek. What monster is the best at hide and seek? A werewolf. Knock, knock. Who cometh for me? Radio. Radio henceforth. Radio not, here I come. I said to myself, that's weird. What's that red circle there for? Oh. Can't slow down. 
I member. I member. Who did I kill? I don't want to talk about it. Yep. Nope. Nope. Wait. Got it. Oh. 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 One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak, the Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator. Come to burn the Sword Coast to ash. You've got it all wrong, Will. Karlak's not about to hurt anyone. Well, not counting the fuckers that need a good hurting. Shut it, devil. I know your kind. A heart darker than a shadow's nightmares. You'd cut a child's throat just to taste the blood. A devil? I didn't take the blade for a fool. I'm... A great fire roars through you. The fire of the first hell. You are Karlak, tearing through demons across a blood-red landscape of fire and volcanic cinder. The front lines of the blood war. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof! Clear as summer sky! It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the blood war, not an agent of it. By Baldurin's helm, I... No! I will not be tricked. You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Be practical. She's infected, same as us. We need allies, not enemies. No! Devils cannot be trusted! You saw Karlak's thought. She poses no threat to the Sword Coast. You know monsters better than wow. anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the Blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I am not what you think. Shit! Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it. Even when the hells burn hottest. Why can't real life be like that? I feel this way strongly. Yeah, but here's some good reasons why you shouldn't. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a... That was a nice ending. Um, mm. Glad Will <clears throat> saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. It takes a pretty slick mover to track down. Co is pro tadpole. Look, I'll say this right now. If I could inject every human with some sort of small worm to make it so every person they talked to or interacted with they could see through their eyes and gain their perspective, I would tadpole all you f***ers in an instant. An in no questions asked. A second, every single human would get an empathy worm, and they would love it. <laughs> oh my god, the world would be such a better place if everyone had a tadpole in their in their freaking head. Ah, wars would end instantly. <laughs> like my lord, even me? Oh, I'd be the first to sign up. You kidding me? Mm.
please. Oh, it'd be great. <laughs> Vote Mind Flayer 2024. That's right, exactly. Um, I'm glad he joined us too. Glad you two can make peace. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or I will have Sue, anyway. Just call me the co-salute. Soldier. Hi. How do you end up with such a contraption in your chest? The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, oh my God. Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city. I love it. With everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into uh -oh. the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Mr. AJ Laycock says, Hey, Co. really looking forward to seeing what Gail has to say during the O. Oh. Mention a boss who gave you up to Zeriel. Who was it? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. What's the Infernal Engine do to you? Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. You must be pent up. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. What's on your mind? You, girl. Mm. In your expert opinion, what's the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Wow. By the way, you guys might like this. <clears throat> like a little Asher playing with Fenrir. Y'all. He's like inside the puppy pen. Like playing with him. We're having a good old time. Y'all. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? This is all there has ever been. I remember only snippets of red. It'll come back to you. Maybe you'll recognize something we pass, or maybe we'll find out what happened to you. I get the feeling we've got a long road ahead of us. I hope we find you some answers along the way. Oh, thanks, girl. Oh, and oh, okay, she's back. Um, all right. Oh, oh, Will. Always a pleasure. You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on Carlac's tail. I'd like to know who. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. 
One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Hmm. Okay. Should I be worried? You're not in any danger. I promise. I can't say the same about me. Okay. A stone bed? It's just a slab. Who, who sleeps on that? Damn. Ouch. Oh god, what now? Yo, am, is that because I'm a monk? I'm sleeping like this? Got my little, my little meditation going on? What's that blood? It's nothing. Ignore it. It's nothing. Okay. Oh, it's an elf thing. Ah, cool. Okay. So I think we looted everything here. Uh, oh, we haven't been in the basement yet. We gotta go in the basement. Uh, that smells right. What hammer was that? Just a great mall? A mall. Okay. Dead toll collector. Preparing to abandon post. A lot of snossages. Love a good snossage. Mm -hmm. Oh, potion of glorious vaulting. Nice. There are traps about. Okay. Quick step. Well, that's unfortunate. All of the failed perception. Just all of it. Okay. Um, let's disarm this. Hey, Julia. Hey, Ko, I know it's like apples to oranges, but what do you like better, this game or Rogue Trader? Uh, this game, the overall package is better. This game is, is there's more resources. There's uh, just more technology. Like overall, when you compare them together, I like this one more. That being said, um, when it comes down to like the characters and the writing, which arguably are the most important things in an RPG, a CRPG, I would... I don't want to say I'd like Rogue Trader better, but I do prefer Rogue Trader. As somebody who likes sci-fi like more than... Like there we go. I got one of them at least. As somebody who likes sci-fi more than fantasy, I would probably... And, and just the overall quality of writing and everything. I mean, Careful, Alcat did a I'm remarkable bad. job this with Rogue way. Trader. So... Oh, the, the as it stands, the total package... Baldur's Gate 3 is is a better game. Um, but a big part of that is because, you know, the team is so refined at Larian, they have a, more resources, you know, that kind of thing. So it is kind of apples and oranges, but what I will say is if mocapping and voice acting aren't a thing for you, if you are the type of person who focuses on story and character, um, like they are very, very similar in terms of just overall quality and experience. Also, I just looted rotten eggs. Delicious. 
A lot of gold. Don't sit on that trap, please. Oh god, I have to get that traveler's chest. Hold on. Ooh. Oh! Okay. left to trap out for us. Jeez, man. Oh, I can't believe Co quit Pal World already. I know it's terrible. And things were going so well. Big boy roll. You probably did, but did you see the Nintendo getting roasted for framey Pokemon video they posted a few hours ago? Oh, no, I didn't, but I totally see it. Wait, what? Can you imagine Asterion in Power World? He'd be well fed and happy all the time. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Mermaid oh, Whisk. Someone's left a trap out for us. What is Mermaid Whisk? I don't remember that. Uh, where is it? Someone else pick it up? Someone else supposed to pick it up. It's whiskey made from mermaids? Oh. One bad gamer says, I wasn't too impressed with Power World. Yeah, it's not for everybody. If you're not a big, like, survival crafting buff, it's relatively more the same, to be honest. But, you know, it's understandable. It's not for everyone. Okay, I think I missed something. There's supposed to be like a... Oh, no. Is this supposed to be a secret room right here? Did I... Oh, did I miss... All right. Did I miss the check to find the button for this thing? Wait. Oh. Oh, oh, hold up. I'm ready. No, no, no. You, you sit breathing. there. Despite everything, what a you day. hear? No one stopped me yet. You hear? You I hear? I wonder what the next move is. Someone there. Watch your back. Traps about. There it is. Does that make sense? Nope, but here we are. And we like it. Huzzah, that's right. Huzzah! I well said. When you use your channel oath spells, you gain heroism. I think that's for paladins, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Now that we've done a long rest, we also need to go back and do a big sell. Anything else here? Okay. I think we're good. All is well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Perfect. Best be on my way. <coughs> Excuse me. Is this a co-loot everything run? I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. I mean, yes. I wasn't planning on it being like 100% run, but... I mean, we're definitely gonna loot everything. You know, we gotta loot everything. Uh, what's up here? Oh, we can't do that yet. Okay. I'm getting very quickly to the point, though, where I don't know where to go next. Go that way? Okay. Go yonder, Co. Oh, over yonder. Is that we're supposed to go over yonder? Way out, way out yonder. All right, cool. Thank you kindly. Mm. Is the plan to expose Kaga? Yes. The plan is to expose Kaga, but also attempt to get Minthara by apparently knocking her out. That's what we're gonna try. Yeah. I have no idea if we're gonna, like, again, we're playing honor mode, so there's no saves coming of any kind. What's up so we're gonna have to kind of figure it out. Need anything else? Of course, but please remember. Oh, he's got a lot of money. You're not the only one in okay. need. Oh. She's using the Sword of Justice with Tears Protection. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the Great Sword. I don't need Nature Snare. The problem is I'm not even sure what I want my party to be. I'm a little hesitant selling any magic items. Also, I may want to respect somebody to be a thing too. I'm gonna keep that. Let's get on with it. Okay. Sylvanas be with you. 